That is cool. I really like that. It's really nice. What do you think, B? Well. <laughs> what? It's B? got this trance type thing. It, remi- <laughs> it reminds me. I didn't hear trance so much in there. It reminds me of like some '80s stuff that yeah. I used to really like get off there on. You go. Yeah. Um, cool. The '80s are the new black, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I was gonna ask God, you. Then we must be well really fucking shit because. <laughs> We are the 80s, well, and we don't even try. Oh, Alan, back. what's the beats per minute on they're that back? song? That BPM would be Where like w- it's like 114. And do you get? Do you ever go faster than that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's absolutely. The, what's your ta- highest BPM when that you get to? We're writing a song right now. It's set up at like 212. One, 170. Yeah, 212 is like happy <laughs> hardcore. That's a little bit too um, yeah. a little bit too exotic even oh for yeah, us. Oh yeah, 170. That's 170 right. is it's that's a it's good. a bit of a cool. more drum and bass right. sounding cool, tune, cool. so it's yeah. faster. Yeah, I can dig that stuff too. Yeah, I like it a lot. We go all over the place. We have a lot of elements of rock, we have a lot of different elements of all different kinds of dance music, and right. we just sort of smush it all together. That's yeah. cool. So you're yeah. based in New York? Yeah. yeah. In, uh, in Williamsburg, where the 80s is definitely king. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> I, I feel like a misfit, actually, in Williamsburg. I always feel really? underdressed. <laughs> on that L train, I always have to look around. I feel like, oh, I don't think I dressed up enough for this L uh, train ride. You know, I could just tell everybody oh I just came from gosh. work. That's what I usually do. I'm, I'm just so in wine. awe of that L train. I well, I've been there eight years, so it's like I'm even in awe of it. Oh, yeah. I'm totally in awe. I feel like I'm on vacation when I go to Williamsburg. I always feel Wee. like, damn, I want to come back here. And <laughs> I, I you cause should. Because I always come go back for, for our show. Reason, you know, like you go to Brooklyn for a purpose, you know, like, I don't know, I'm from 212 land, sure. and when I go to Brooklyn, I just always think it's like, I have to come back here. Do you, what do you think about Brooklyn? I don't think about Brooklyn. <laughs> oh. I don't want to think about Brooklyn. Brooklyn is great. It's, such a, it's, such, Brooklyn. A, it's such a wannabe little space. So oh, it's not particularly, everywhere. Particularly Williamsburg. It's actually <laughs> really big. Yeah. Brooklyn. You know, particularly it's, it's like it's very, like all the junkies large. died from the Lower East Side, and then all the trust fund kids, because it, the rent got so expensive, and decided to go to Williamsburg. You know, and then ever since then, I guess for the past ten years or so, they've been trying to like make the Williamsburg so fucking hip. <laughs> you know, but the bottom line is, it's got all, it's all these trust fund kids who are so nerdy, who think they're so cool, and they they think that that's the place to be. It'll never fucking Except be what they think they they want it to be, or what they they. The views and opinions of me are not the views and opinions of Arisma Entertainment. And it's Thank so God. <laughs> you know what? I don't want anybody else to share my I, uh, fucking opinion. You know? I think that it is already is. And that's it. I know, but I know people that are packing up and moving to Williamsburg. Well, still. it's if you want to talk about people unaffordable rents, I mean, it's the the middle class and the artists have long been since extinct in Manhattan. Yeah. And as a former Manhattan yeah. resident, I definitely was happy as hell to get out. Yeah, you go I know people that like, oh, love Williamsburg. I would I never it. trade Brooklyn for anything in a million years now. And I, of course, when it's I it's just really York, hard like to go like anywhere from. Um, Williamsburg how many like times have you partied in Williamsburg? I, just, I mean, you well have to have been in the base Well, first off, I don't party. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's boring. I mean, Maybe. I, know, I know you look at me and you say, wow, this guy looks like a party fucking animal. How many My times God. have you played Pinochle in I don't fucking party. party, man. I don't fucking party. You know why? And he doesn't even I like don't <laughs> like people. That's why. Oh, well, then, William well, no wonder you don't like the Bronx. Well, there's Westchester a reason for really everything, matter. Jen. You know that. <laughs> there's a reason for everything. Totally. Oh, B, B, B. Oh. Yeah, he just brings a freaking shitload of bees in there. <laughs> Right. Ah, they're coming oh. for their leader, I see. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know. It's not the queen bee. It's, <laughs> it's the <laughs> All right. Skeletons in oh. my closet. <laughs> oh. Won't you share yours with me? Alan has, no, sh- Alan has no shortage, so let's let's start with Jen. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is a game we're about to play? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we need to hear a skeleton in your closet. Oh, a skeleton in my closet. I'm like a pretty open person. I don't really keep very many things hidden from so me. So tell us an open skeleton oh. in oh. your closet. <laughs> What does that mean? I'm going to go to Raquel. So Raquel, you can think you better start I guess for most people. Rachel, yeah, yeah. her too. I guess for most people, the skeleton in the closet is like something that you hide, something that you're hiding. Not necessarily. Just something (laughs) naughty. Naughty. uh, Naughty. Everything Uh, about me is naughty. Well, tell us one good naughty thing. Okay. Let's see. I just took uh, the morning after pill for the first time. Oh. Oh. Alan doesn't even Whoa, know. Oh, no. That's, <laughs> that wow. is fresh off the boat. Look yeah. at that. Did you, We're going to have to talk about that a little bit. I was go-go dancing. I didn't, actually. I was I was dancing at a party, and I met um, 
Oh my I met, God. I know. See, I'm Good telling life. you, it's was a this skeleton. On Saturday? Yeah, and oh I met. Oh, I met a Russian a model. Things happen on Saturday. What? And I just. A Russian model. I mean, what are you going to do? Oh my God. You didn't no, use no, a condom. I, guess we knew it I did, but it broke. I, I know. I hate that. And it gets better. My girlfriend, who I live with, <laughs> was left like, with him, too. No. no. Let me ask you something. She what? was like, let's keep it. What kind? What the broken? But condom? I didn't. Oh no. No, the it, oh, the no. baby. How did, let me ask you. Oh, what, you didn't know if you were gonna have. What condom? No. What condom <laughs> did you use? I don't know. Oh, I was drunk. Is it the free ones that they hand that like you get at like the clothing stores that have the NYC label on there? Probably. I mean, he's a model, so he probably can't afford. Cheap you know. bastards. Yeah. Oh my my my! Yeah. Just, wait, did so you people just go to the drugstore and say I want the morning after pill? No, I called let me uh, ask you friends wait and. Was he so huge because of the condom breaking, or Wait. was it just a cheap ass old condom? I mean, it could have. She doesn't know. Was it was nice. She doesn't it know if he's like big or not. What are you I, it was about? nice. It was like approx. It was appropriate. It was pretty. Like it was a fun rest. night. It was a model. It was pretty. Whatever. I had a good time. <laughs> we started by playing Spin the Bottle, which was also I oh, love awesome. Spin the Bottle. I know. I don't think I'd but played it since college. All right. right. Take it easy. I can see you starting <laughs> to get all worked up. But it's up only fun when you're play on the show. All right. Your turn, Alan. Go ahead. Oh, geez. I mean, that's like out skeletons in the closet. I mean, uh -oh. I, I have, I am, I'm like, a, I'm pr a pretty good boy. I mean. I've been I've been so um, like you know no skeletons in the closet going on now for uh, several months. And he needs uh, well then go back that closet. last month before. I think I, we could just thought the spin the bottle game was kind of funny. The spin the, I mean not that one that you played, played but no we didn't play. <laughs> But uh, I guess that would that would be like my main experience with like making out with girls is one time in college where there was a spin the bottle game. So every time spin the bottle comes up, I think it's it's great fun when you're an adult because it's not like when you're in seventh grade and you're really insecure. When you're an adult, you get to see all the lines blurring, you know. So it's like the two straight men will. Kiss so where's your skeleton? I don't know. Can't you're you see like, I'm stalling? Yeah. Uh, I'm stalling. Okay. I have nothing the really bottle. dirty to say. So <laughs> I have maybe something just embarrassing from childhood. That's fine. Something embarrassing from childhood is that until I was about age. Um, probably about six years old, whenever it was my birthday, or really anybody's birthday for that matter. When's your birthday? My birthday is December 16th. Okay. And um, whenever it was my birthday or anybody else's birthday in the song, Happy Birthday, started being sang, I would burst into tears. 